Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Parthian campaign after a little bit of a break. Um, so I am a slight bit rusty, but we should be good. And I've had a look around. Looks like everything is going well. It's pretty good. We're only on episode five, and we've already conquered all of this. Um, and you know, our cities are starting to build and grow. As well as that, we have taken into Pontus. The Seleucids are attacking us, but we decide to go after Egypt just to smash them back. I'm thinking of maybe leaving Sidon as a buffer zone, but we're going to bring the army from Susa um, over down through here. And then hopefully we take Mazaka as well, which is the Pontic capital. Now, once we've taken that, I don't think that they will be able to uh, recruit any good troops. So that is the one good thing. Like the Pontics have trash trash troops to start with unless they can get up to the, getting their cataphracts so we should be good um we are retraining there i think it's the end of this turn unless we can take this nope um how are we doing with the training over here doing okay we'll have about eight mm, i think we'll leave it there that looks like good so let's see what happens in the end turn i don't want the Seleucids. that's the big thing uh, I don't really want the Seleucids to take Antioch. Antioch is an anchor point down there. It was quite bloody, the siege that we did as well. So, hmm, I guess we'll see anyway. Yep. Oh, they're going to attack. What? That, that ratio is crazy. We should easily destroy them here. Easily. And that's actually good for us. We have to stop them escaping, so we'll try draw them on a bit. Uh, but yeah, we should absolutely destroy them. In terms of the channel, I think we're going to carry on with this one. I'm going to try a few different other types of content as well. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll go back to Twitch as well, and we'll keep on going with that. Uh, I might do an EU4 um, campaign, but I have to see probably Saladin's Legacy. Um, if you know about that, um, but I did that for a Twitch live stream, and I tried about ten times in a row, and we basically nearly got there. And then the Ottomans and the Mamluks decided to declare war on me at the same time. And oh no, I declared war on the Ottomans, and it was a terrible, terrible mistake. So <laughs> yeah, um, all right, you go away. We don't want you here. The rest of you, let's get set up. God, it's uh, a bit slow. I don't know. For some reason, when I came back on, my uh, uh, my settings had been been reset, so I might need to change them because this is exceedingly slow. Exceedingly slow. What are they doing, these uh, archers? Surely they know that they're not going to kill me. By charging into us. Oh, they're gone. Uh, right, Let's see whether we can uh, charge them. I don't think they're going to make it through the gate. Good. Oh, maybe they will. Yeah, maybe they will. We're a bit slow. A bit slow on the uptake there. Guys, go here. Don't think we're going to lose anyone in this battle if they keep doing this. Speed it up a bit. Let's come back. The uh, the headhunting maidens are a good troop, so we don't want to we don't want to be caught out by them. However, we should absolutely slaughter them. Are they faster than us though? That's the thing. I think I thought our horse archers were fast moving. Yeah, they are. So they shouldn't catch us. That's the one issue. If they all stop breaking, I don't want them to break. Get away. 
Like, you're supposed to be fast moving. How have they caught you? Okay, we'll sacrifice one troop. Get out here. See, they're all breaking. How are you not faster? Get on top of that hill if you can. No, stop stopping before you run. You idiots. Absolute fools. Stop stopping. Absolute idiots. Terrible, terrible, terrible. They're going to stop here as well. Oh, no. Don't want to get that too, man. Okay, now he routes. Good. Everyone come down here and you'll be able to shoot him. Or her, should I say? Although it'd be a male, it'll be a male general, probably. Yeah, it is. Oh wait, can we see him? Or is it? Yeah, it is. For some reason it still is, even though it's the head of hunting maidens. Get them. Might as well try and get some uh, extra experience. There we are. Perfect. A bit more casualties than I would have wanted there. I would have hoped for none, but hard when your troops stop when you give them new orders. Kind of makes sense, but it is frustrating when you're running a... Uh, Horse Archer Army, but I haven't played for ages, so I am slightly rusty. Um, I can't see what it's like, so we're going to go for enslavement. Probably a bad option there, looking at that. Best option would have been to uh, kill them all, I guess. Oh, look, spy there. What's happening there? So, city expands, Suter, brilliant. We'll spend some money on that. Agent found Pontus. Yep, cool. End of turn report. Recruitment. Seussa Seleucia. Antioch. Sinope. Antioch. Still recruiting Hillman, eh? Uh, oh, well, these guys. Will the Hillman reach? Nope. Well, that is a terrible army. But this is a terrible army to go into the city. We will probably still do it though. It's just going to be frustrating. Now, what do we do here? Oh, look at these rebel armies. Please go stand over there. I wish this one would stand here as well. Oh well. Um, cool. You're coming up to here. I think this is more important right now than anything else, is to keep recruiting these guys. We're going to recruit, um, we'll probably recruit one more as well after that. It's going to be a full stack of those. Um, we need, like, we need some slingers as well to man the rams, so we will do that. Right, let's do the construction first. We just had a battle, so nice to get a bit of construction out of the way. So our Sarkir has upgraded. Um, probably best to go with communal farming here, honestly. Trade income bonus 20%, that's quite good. 65. Yeah, the communal farming is still better, but we are very low on money. So I'd like something cheap, but there isn't really anything cheap. Yeah, 1,200 is about as cheap as it goes. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of building that's been done. Susa, your building. 
Campus Alani, not really hugely bothered by you, but it'd be nice to get a port. And Artaxata, no, walls are not important right now. Antioch, let's go for the trader so we can get a blacksmith here. Um, Sinope built roads, yeah. That's okay. Keep recruiting that. Hatch was unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Same as Campus Samate. Uh, that's another thing. We need to build here, don't we? And recruit here. Um, well, we'll get some money from this. We'll be able to build that. There is like a rebel settlement. Where is it? Oh, is it all the way? It's all the way behind there. That is, it is the most annoying settlement. However, it would be good to get rid of it straight away. Um, but we won't worry about that. So let's get these guys. Let's go take on this little army. Hmm. He's 68. You're 48, 28, 23. You're obviously good, so I think you're also good for cities with your Seleucid Urban Planner. I think we'll take... Well, let's take the young guys. Let's get the young guys trained up. Or at least one of them. Ah, no, you will. yeah, we'll, we'll just do this. Or these guys. See whether the city's happy. Yeah, it is. That's good. Uh, we'll just skip past these guys and go straight for Mazaka. They are pointless. Our two, our two generals will be able to be defeat whatever they've got there. Get a peasant because then we can move on with the generals and keep on general stacking. Um, actually, while we are doing that, let's get that general in there. Keep them happy. Antioch. I've got a feeling they're going to go for Antioch. Hmm. If I had a general, I'd stick a fort there just to stop them. But we don't. <laughs> so, I guess we can't. Yeah, we need a peasant here. That's good. And then we can move on. We need somewhere where we can retrain these horse archers. So, we're probably going to go for the city that's down here. Is it? I think it's here. Pretty sure it's around here somewhere. So... We'll go marching it. There's probably going to be roads to it, so that will show us where it's, where it's at, which is good. Right, let's uh, take seed on. Four spearmen, one now spearmen. They can do phalanx, so it's not great. Uh, and we are in a city. Is it just a large town or a city, though? I don't know. Looks like it's just wooden walls around the outside. That's one good thing. Um, and they will stand a lot of their troops towards where we're going to break through. So we'll just shoot them to pieces. And then we'll go from all sides with our horse archers and, and shoot them. Um, best thing we can do. They don't have any cavalry. So should, they should not be able to uh, keep up with us or find us. Um, chase us. If they chase us, we just run away. Classic horse ar archer uh, tactics but uh, it has to be done otherwise we we probably would lose really because the uh, the morale of the horse archers is terrible especially on this difficulty that it <laughs> great we also have these guys that we can use for melee oh this is definitely a better place to come in Although it has a tower. How about here? Yeah, this is this is the best place. Two little areas we can we can run down. We've done that one before. Done that tactic before. Um, it's just seeing whether we can fit all these guys in without them getting shot by these two towers. Uh, where are their troops? See whether we get shot. 
send these guys in here. Look, we got carrion birds circling, shadows. Anyone getting shot yet? Whoop! I don't know why it's done that. Right, let's uh, let's get in here. Let's hopefully not get shot as we do so. Might do. I wonder what their range is. No, yep, yeah, we are getting shot now. Wonder if we're in range of them and they're in range of us. Maybe go with four here and four here. Uh, I don't think we're getting shot from this side. Doesn't look like it. Getting shot this side yet? Nope. Our range isn't great on these, that's the one thing. Need to come forward. Should be shredding these guys, really. We're shooting on their shield side, which isn't the best thing to do, but it's fine. They don't, they don't quite know what to do with these Nubian Spearmen. Yep, they're going to come round because we're at the gate. Uh, I think we'll send... How about... You guys go here. Yep, looks like we're going to kill the general fairly early as well. Yep, they're just going to run past all our soldiers, classic. While we shoot them to pieces. Used a reasonable amount of ammo. They're too close to the wall for us to get really good shots off on them. Right, let's um, let's get the these guys in first, the melee soldiers, and let's bring the hillmen through there. Can we fit? Looks like we can. Let's get around here. It's going to be chaos trying to get in now. Go fire your stuff at them. Don't want you to charge their phalanx, obviously. But they might break. They are wavering. We're getting shot. I think they're shooting themselves. Alright, so stop. Stop firing. think they've just we they just load lost loads of troops there I'm pretty sure it's because they're shooting themselves yeah they, they had no archers or anything like that they've got these guys coming through I think we'll be able to break these guys as well Gonna go into phalanx so that's the one issue that we have dealing with their phalanx formations. Uh, they're shaken. Let's try go for the charge. Gotta get the charge off. Yeah, they're broken. Very nice. I think we get bring the hillman through here, and then anyone that's got a bit of ammo can go there. Yeah, we'll all come here. Hillman, are you running? Yeah, you are. You're just very slow. Cool. And then we'll bring our general through here. Desert Axemen don't concern me. I would like them to be outside the box, though, so that we uh, 
can break them rather than having to kill every single one of them and just grind it out. Oh yeah, um, where are the hillmen? Once the hillmen are through, we'll put all these guys on a fire at will again. And they'll probably charge. Yep. Exactly what they're doing. Alright, make sure I've got all uh, the right guys. Get in there. Hillman, come here. We'll charge him. Should not be concerning for any of our troops, really. Right, let's actually turn you all off, fire at will again. And get you into a uh, charge. We'll absolutely crush them. Oh, they're already down to seven men. Somehow staying at seven men. <laughs> I don't know how. There we are. There we are, set up. Whee, they all cheer now. We have taken the city. Well done, troops. We lost a whole 12. More than 12 because of friendly fire. A lot more than 12 because of friendly fire. Oh, well. Still all right. We still uh, did quite well. We haven't lost many men, really. When you look at it. Quite an easy siege. Egypt was right for the take. Looks like Egypt and the Seleucids have started fighting each other now as well. Uh, let's exterminate. We've got to start exterminating now, especially in these Egyptian lands. Oh no, uh, I thought Damascus was theirs, but it's just an army that was over the top of it. Oh my days, look at that. It's just absolute trash. Trash armies everywhere for them. So the only thing we can retrain? Well, gonna have to build stables here. Set can go. But stables first. Um, let's build a peasant to so we can carry on moving. Um, and let's get you in there. Yep, you're carrying on recruiting. That's good. You're recruiting. Also, we got a lot of money from that. Um, Artex Arta, we can build now. Let's build the trader. Uh, Sinope. What do you want, Sinope? Probably Execution Square. Keep that law up. Great. Looks like we've done everything this turn. Um, yeah. That's all good. Oh, a new merchant. An Egyptian one. Where is he? Or do we want to trade? No, let's trade... Less than 10. It's not good. A zero glass. I, I really don't understand the merchants. Let's go for silk. Looks fine. Resistance is futile. Sarosh of Syrinx has got a shield bearer. That's good. It's only 24. And he has good command. That's brilliant. Let's end the turn. Okay, they're going to attack. That's quite good for us. Because we can sally out and drag them around the city. Gives us more space. Don't want to be defending a city with horse archers. Not ideal. Do they have any chariot, uh, chariots though? No. Oh, good for us. Sidon besieged by absolute rubbish troops. Alliance Gaul and Germania. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, we've recruited there. Campus Samatai. Sidon, uh, Seleucia, and what do we want to do now? So we want these guys to 
come through. But we could do with a couple of you guys. So they'll have to come in here and they'll have to come in here. We should also... Okay, we, no, we can't retrain them. Okay, that's expanded because even though this, it doesn't expand... Yeah, just light and heavy weapons, not missile weapons or armor, which is not good. Um, so we have to wait for the next level, which is still a while off. Um, that's going to be two turns. So we might as well keep on recruiting. Let's get three, uh, and we'll be up to like 15 troops maybe. So yeah, you're building. Hatra. Okay, Pontus is on the way. Maybe they'll turn back when we've taken Mazika. Um, let's put the wooden wall in there just in case, because it's cheap and it doesn't really matter. Let's go with the mines at Katayas and Campus Samate. Let's go with that. Keep the public order in line. Make sure we're building everywhere. Yeah, that's good. Sidon's under siege. Trash army. Let's carry on recruiting here. What? How many do we need? We need about six. But well, more than six, but we already got one. Let's just do that while we have the money. Hmm. Although I would like this army to move out sooner rather than later. Uh, and get going towards these towns and then it takes the pressure off a little bit. Right. Looks like it'd be easy enough to take. Only have one unit of infantry to open one breach though. Hmm. How about you? Could do with having... Let's just get an Eastern Infantry to man the, man the rams. And over here, let's see what these Egyptians are going to do. They are not going to be able to defeat us. That's the one good thing. Elephants may seem unstoppable, but they are easily spooked by flaming missiles and spear-wielding units. I'm not going to lie, whenever you put your spear-wielding units up against elephants, it seems like the spear-wielding units get crushed. <laughs> Um, obviously, we're not going to go out there. So, let's go around this side, where we have the high ground advantage. Um, and we'll keep these guys here. Um, no, you. Go there. Yep. Forty-five minute time limit. See, they're not going to know what to do here. Um, I think we'll get the general out over this side, and then they'll be even more confused. Okay, we're out. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Very glassy, the ground. <laughs> Very shiny. It's a nice little effect, that, really, when you look at it, especially from far away. This should be easy enough. Like, we don't even really need to kill their general. We just need to kill their troops. What are these? Like, this is a weak, weak flank. So let's go for it. Do, yeah, let's, let's just come across to here. As long as we're not getting attacked by the slingers, should be all be good. And let's just whittle them down. I know they're on the shield side, but they are very weak. They are not strong units. Desert Axemen are poor as well. Yep, they're not going to know what to do. How are we not catching them? I know we are armoured. No, we're only Eastern General at the minute. Not armoured Eastern General, so... Not even that armoured. That's a bit far. Let's go here. 
Should be shredding these guys. Yeah, down to half. Yeah, I would like to fully destroy this army. They have the audacity to attack us. We will have the audacity to destroy them. Oh! He's dead! He died! Babagina! Bababigna! Or whatever the hell he's called. He died charging slingers. As if he just died on that instant. On the charging slingers. Oh well. Well. We might have to bring one of the generals from that other army that's uh, in Pontus across. But. Should be okay. This guy doesn't matter then anymore. So. Let's get him to charge into here. You keep chasing them down. Well, that was annoying. The whole battle went out, phased out, because uh, of McAfee antivirus software coming up. Thanks, McAfee. All right, kill their general. Go kill those slingers. They should be wanting to run away now. That, I don't think you will have missed anything really there. Like maybe 5-10 seconds. But yeah. They should break. Come back a bit. I don't want you guys completely killing yourselves like you did last time. Those now spearmen are eager. You should break if we charge you. Uh, you guys, this side. But how many have we killed? They still have 20% of their troops. Oh, get out of there. Oh, okay. That's okay. I was going to say, that was our uh, guy who's alive, not the guy who's dead. <laughs> How many do they have left now? 4%, so they should be wiped out. But we'll carry on just in case. They should be dead. There we are. Perfect. 12 again. But slightly more than 12. It's fine. Yeah, that was good battle. I Like, you, with horse archers, you've just got to go onto the open field and you will destroy everyone. You cannot fight inside cities unless you severely are severely better than everyone else. Let's have a look at these armies. Okay, there will be chariots in this one and he's a... Uh, Seven influence, that's quite good. That's just Nile Spearman, isn't it? Um, right, what do we want to do then? Let's, let's get some more Hillmen while we're here. Till we've recruited that. Heroic Death, Babagina. Babagina. Right, let's end the turn and see what happens. I think, I'm hoping this Pontic army will go away. If not, we'll have to send the army from Seleucia across to there to get that first, and then Palmyra and Damascus. Thinking all three of those armies are going to come. No? Okay, fine. Look, we'll constantly be fending off trash armies from Egypt, but it was them who declared war on us. Um, and I think this one northern army in Sinope and Mazica will be enough to defeat the Pontics and the Seleucids. But I guess we'll see. Right, we better actually recruit some more horse archers here. I want this army to be full. Right, you guys. Um, let's see whether we can leave. Uh, yeah, we will be able to. It won't. It won't right because this is getting completed. That's fine. Chersiones, isn't it? Just down here. Oh, look. Well. Um, oh, I wish I had a general so I could build. 
uh, build some watchtowers out here so we can see what's going on. Um, Hatra and then Sidon. This, what have we got? We've only got peasants in Hatra. Right. I think we wait for that. We'll wait for this to be done and then we'll go. Uh, and then we'll have... We'll have 15 troops. It should be good size. We'll be able to take back Hatra then we'll go to Palmyra and Damascus. Um, who are you to think that you can come and beat us here? This army looks scary, but it is just trash. Right, let's have a look. Alliance announced. Mastodon and the House of Brutii. Recruiting a lot of places. Good. Sinop. Yes. Okay, we're recruiting there now again. Okay, Campus Sakai. Yeah, keeping you happy is hard, but... We've got to keep doing it. I don't really want you to grow too fast, so... Hmm. Population growth as well from the trader. <sighs> yeah. Go with the trade caravan. Frasper, let's go with the trader. Campus Alani. Let's keep you happy. Antioch. Hmm. Do you want a blacksmith? You are only a minor city. Um, thinking maybe execution square. I think we're going to make Antioch our capital as well at some point. Ooh, look at this, another one. It's just annoying, like the amount of armies. Like, look at this. Like, it's not good at all. I don't even know whether we'd have enough arrows with this army to deal with all of that, but should be hugely whittled down by the time that we uh, actually have to deal with them. Uh, we might send these guys across as well, because this Seleucid army doesn't seem like it wants to move. Is that our spy? Let's have a look down here. Okay, that looks like it's the last army that's on the way, that big one that's around here. So if we clean up all of them, it should be quite an easy road to victory down in Egypt but I think that will be it for today guys so thank you very much for watching we're doing quite well so uh, let's have a look taking another town uh, we're going to take Mazaka fought a few battles um, we should have cleaned up this area reasonably soon um, obviously Hatra is going to fall if we don't get there in time and I think we won't get there in time so Hatra will fall but we'll take it we'll take Mazaka we'll move down here to kill the Seleucids and then we might depending on what this army does that's up here we might have to march back and fight them if so that's fine we will do that um, and then we'll move down to here um, these guys can come this way Hatra Palmyra and Damascus and then we'll have two armies to face off against the Egyptians because they're probably the strongest enemy we have right now um, in terms of these guys they're going to come down here mop up this region and probably, depending on what's happening, if there's a lot of rebel settlements up here, we'll go and take the rebel settlements and just expand ourselves. If not, we'll bring them round and down to fight these guys and move into the Greeks. I'm hoping Rome will have uh, new troops, have the uh, Marian reform troops by the time we get there. But I doubt it at the pace we're going. Like, don't know how many turns we've been. Um... But it hasn't been many. Uh, where do we find that out? Do, do, do. Battles won, lost. Do, do, do. Military ranking was still 11th, but we are the first ranking in production, territorial, and population. We're all number one. Yeah, let's have a look at our ranking. Uh, oh, the Julii. The Romans are all okay. Egypt was doing better, and now it's got worse. Probably be just because of its military so big, but it's it's not great. Um, Scythians, yeah, still far down. Macedon, fine. Pontus, yeah, getting less. Pontus probably only has a large town and a town now as well, as well as Mazaka. So they will not be able to recruit any good troops. Same with the Seleucids. Like are these, these are just large towns. 
Um, so yeah. Yeah, cool. Look, done. Got 549 turns to go. I don't know how many turns we have done then. But thank you very much, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And please let us know in the comments down below and like the video. And I should see you again in the next video.